Good morning. Um, right now we're going to start and we're going to talk about SketchUp for architecture. So I've logged in like I normally do. Um, one thing I do need to do is go into my apps right here. Just go into my apps. And then I'm going to go SketchUp for the web and launch it. Now, um, designing for architecture in SketchUp, it's really easy. It's defaults to feet and inches. Um, I'm still in one of my other folders, but I'm going to create a new. And I'm going to use the feet and inches folder or template. And I'm going to like just get rid of Helen. Oh, like I said, I really don't worry too much about that. So I'm just going to start with a line tool. And I'm going to start by drawing the walls of my building, whatever the building is. Now, this is where it becomes important to have a plan. I've sketched out this building before time. I've figured out how things are supposed to sit. I know where they're supposed to go. So basically, I'm going to start with the walls here. I'm going to start out drawing a simple wall that's like 16 feet long. Not 16 inches, Benson. Feet. Gosh. Control Z. Try that again. 16 feet. That's better. And then I'm going to go on my green axis here. Got to get on the green axis. Go back 24 inches or 2 feet. Come across on the red axis, 6 feet. Come back out this way. I'm going to get back on that green axis. Make sure this lines up. Take this out this way, another 15 feet. Now, this is just a little cabin, but it'll be a good example. Now, I'm going to go on that green axis. I'm going to go 23 feet back. And then I'm going to come right about 20 feet over. Okay, so, oh look, I've got a pop-up bothering me. Okay, um, go back this way, about 20, 24 inches. Come back over here until I line up with the end right like this and close it. So there's my surface. Now, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to bring this up a foot because I'm just taking into account floor joists and things right off the bat. So I literally build like if I've got the floor just in there, I don't draw them right now. At least if I'm doing a simple version. If I'm doing an in-depth version, I'll get in there and I'll draw all the joists and make them units and groups and all that. But right now, I'm just going to bring that up. Um, let's see. If I take into account the mud seal, the typical floor joists, 11 and 7 eighths, uh, the typical uh, tongue and groove decking, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, I'm going to come up 14.125 inches, okay? Um, so that's that's my floor. That's my layout of my floor. So let's use the offset tool real quick. So we're going to use the offset tool. We're going to come right here to the surface, bring it in. And I'm going to come in. Okay, I'm going to round up here. It's going to be six inches in. There's my exterior walls. Okay, so I'm just going to drop those in there. Um, interior walls. Well, let's draw those in. So I'm going to start right here in the middle of this. I'm going to draw this straight out. I hit my shift key so I can lock it. Bring it straight out to that corner. I'm straight down to that corner. Okay. Now I'm going to click on this wall and this line, and we're going to make the thickness of that wall by going out that way. And I'm going to go just four inches. I'm going to make this easier than normal. Okay. So there's my interior walls. Now I need a, another wall that's two feet over right here. So I'm going to click right here on this edge, come over by four inches, find that end point I just made, bring that all the way down across the house like so. Go over from this, another four inches, take this all the way down through the building like so. I gotta get a block in on that right axis. Oh, come on. It hates me today. All right. So, and then I'm gonna put in the closet. I've got opening right here. We're gonna come over, say, 42 inches. Be right there. -ish. Yep. Again, come over four. Back. And now I'm gonna zoom in again. Okay, this will get the start. So, this is a simple little cabin, um, open floor plan kind. Uh, I do have the bedroom and the bath separated, so I'm going to actually put in the bath wall right here. It should be right there, yep. And again, four inches over. Now I've put the plumbing in the outside wall of this, but, you know, kind of couldn't be helped right now. Now I'm going to do a couple things. One is I'm going to come into all these corners like this, and I'm going to remove those little pieces right there. Not that one, this one. Come on, let me have the piece. There we go. You'll see why very shortly, and if you're familiar with SketchUp, you'll probably already understand why. What it's going to allow me to do is bring all of my walls up in one go. All right, now, I'm going to do a normal wall of 8 feet, so nothing fancy here. So um, basically, I've got my sole plate, then my studs, and then my double top plate, which is an inch and a half plus an inch and a half plus an inch and a half for the sole of the double top. And then the rest of it's like 92 and 5 eighths, I believe, to get my height right. So 
Bring that up. We're just going to 96 inches. Not 96 feet, Benson. Gosh. There we go. Now, I'm going to use the push pull tool to start making doors. Here's the funny part about making doors in this you've got to do it right. Um, honestly, I'm going to put a door in the middle of this wall. Well, if I do it on this side from the bottom point, that's no problem. If I do it from the outside at the bottom, I'm going to be about 14 inches low. So I'm going to come right here to the middle of this wall, come straight up this way, and the door is normally about 80 inches tall. And this is going to be a 18 inch wide opening this way, come back down. And I'm going to try to do this as easy as I can. So I'm going to push that through to this side. And then I'm going to just take this and I'm going to push it that way at 18 inches. There's my door opening. Okay. I'm going to do that for the rest of the door openings. Now, there are a couple of problem ones, like, say, this guy right here. Seriously, trying to get into that little corner could be real fun. Um, but you can do it. You just got to get going on the right axis. And this is actually only a 30 inch door. Okay, let's see if I can get him to slide right. Ha! Worked out well that time. Okay, and so those are going just fine. Um, the bedroom door over here. Okay, one of those things we have a hard time explaining until you actually have to see it framed. You cannot actually put a door in the corner. It has to be out a given distance. Um, typically, three inches is about enough. Um, but, you know, honestly, I prefer to have about a foot to two feet behind it, preferably two feet. So you can actually, you don't want to enter in the middle of a room, but at the same time, you don't want to crunch things down so tight that you can't open the door. You end up putting the doorknob through the wall every time it gets banged open because you know that never happens um so i'm going to go like this and come on give me a blue axis not a green axis there we go and push there we go now one little side note about this is with this doing it this way see how it leaves me a line right there i got two different surfaces it ma makes it relatively easy to have different surfaces when we get to actually apply materials later to do bedrooms and uh flooring as opposed to hallway flooring as a, okay so as i'm laying this out i'm just gonna you know drop in my pieces and really right now i'm only worried about a couple of doors here and there um we'll get those put in i should put in windows i should put in other things like that but i'll do those as components later but that's the basics of laying out your floor plan now for those of you that are old board draftsmen or learn how to draft on a drawing board this should look really familiar um basically when you draw on a board you start by laying out the outside building you block it in and then all you do is you come back in and you start adding in the thicknesses for the lines. And you just don't drag it upward. You just start blocking the pieces in and making the, the points that you're going to work from. Um, I'm not going to, I'm going to go do some other stuff offline so you don't have to watch it all and be bored. But, uh, so the next trick we're going to do is when we come back, um, we should be ready to start doing things like making a door jam or a door. Um, now, I will also point out right now that I did just bare openings. I did not do rough openings. All the openings should actually be a little bigger than I made them. Okay, I did what is defaulting, what most people in the board draft would do. Um, the doors actually are about two inches bigger, okay, each direction, and about an inch, two inches taller just to account for the jam, depending on the manufacturer, and you probably want to check your manufacturer specifications when you're actually doing a door uh, to know how much bigger you have to over frame it, okay? Because then you can put in your shims and your casing, your jam, all that, and make sure the door fits properly, okay? Hey, thanks for your time.